No, you're not. No, you're not. No, you're not. Don't move. Don't you Don't you move. My son would never jeopardize anyone else's life by trying to pull a gun on an officer and the gun was not fire ready. These are some of the facts that came out in the trial and I am so very, 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 very disappointed in the system here in the state of Minnesota. They wear these names because they don't know their own name. They have lost their identity, their own identity. So this is amnesia. And, and by not knowing themselves, when a man doesn't know himself, he doesn't know what belongs to him. He could be the richest man on this earth, but by having lost his identity, he'll walk around like a pup. So here we have 20 million black people in America who are wearing the names of their former slave master, as we've been taught by the Honorable Elijah Muhammad. And by suffering a, a form of amnesia, they don't have a name of their own, so they've taken your name. They don't know their own language, so they've taken your language. They don't have a history of their own, so they let you tell them what their history is. And that, in essence, is that you found them in the jungle someplace with a spear chasing white people. We're a young age, so we want to attack this fucking idea of racism. We need to start understanding how they are fucking with us, okay? To understand, to understand how the enemy is attacking us, you have to watch film. You have to do your fucking history on how your enemy is going to attack you. Okay, they're going to smile in your faces. The protest was in response to the death of 37-year-old Alton Sterling, who was shot during an encounter with Baton Rouge police last week. It was videotaped and went viral. I never really have talked throughout this whole year and throughout this whole process of everything that has happened because um, I get very emotional when it comes to my brother. But um, the system really is wrong and they really failed us. Within 90 seconds of making the stop, the 29-year-old officer fired seven shots. Castile's girlfriend, Diamond Reynolds, was in the passenger seat. She streamed the immediate aftermath on Facebook Live. I told him not to reach for it. I told him to get his hand out. He had, you told him to get his ID, sir, and his driver's license. Oh, my God, please don't tell me he's dead. Please don't tell me my boyfriend just went like that. Just keep your hands where they are, please. Yes, I will, sir. I'll keep my hands where they are. As Officer Yanez continued to point his weapon at Castile, you can see an officer coax and pick up Reynolds' then four-year-old daughter. Uh, uh, crying and please, please, please accept please, please, man. No justice, no peace. No justice, no peace. Those four words resonated loud and clear for many standing in this Baton Rouge parking lot. The scene of a deadly officer involved shooting now making national headlines. It's going down around this big.
No peace. No peace. No justice. Yeah. No. To pursue, right? Like, what what, what actions are they going to do? Gonna do? Okay. You know, so I feel like your voice was like cutting through the crowd. You know, you started talking about, hey, after this protest, you know, we still have work to do. do. I feel like a lot of people are going to come to this protest, feel like they did enough, and they're not going to do anything, exactly. and they don't know the goals. They spent they a lot of time know. on their side. Hey, what's your Instagram? Well, 
like this from bottom right here. Yeah. Snap up. Calling us the N-word, calling us niggas, 
They be turning up. We need to know. We need public access to a review board where we can go and we can see what's been reported on these officers. We can say, look at all the charges they got against them. Look at all the complaints they got against them. Look at how they have been treating people. There There's go. no way they should be yeah. in this position. We need to leave yeah. this Make sure you leave it with gold. If anything, make sure you leave with gold.
because our lives matter. We are the future. I love you, black people. I love you, black people. I love you, too, white people. You know what? You know what? No, no disrespect to this queen. No disrespect to this king. But see, his slave master ancestors, yeah. you motherfuckers burning in hell right now. Racism, racism don't like this. Racism don't like this. We can fortify. We can come together and include our own and include. Come on up, come on up, come on up. Y'all remember Miss Sadie? Y'all remember Miss Sadie? Say rest in peace, Miss Sadie. 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 See, Miss Sadie prepared it for this moment, y'all. Yes, I'm dude. from Baton Rouge. You see this sign? We've been fighting. We knew what Blaine Salomon did. They all yeah. yeah. We knew what the motherfuckers did. And they waited and they go high. And they tried to always burn it. And then they got the nerve to tell us to forget about slavery. Right. How are we going to forget about slavery? They got a 400 year head start. They got a 400 year head start. We not we not gonna forget about slavery, and we rewriting our history. Tell somebody I love black people. I love black people. I love black people. I love black people. All black people. Trans, gay, it don't matter. Yeah. They gave us the fear of that coronavirus. I'm not saying that it was real, but it didn't stop the motherfuckers from killing black folks, right? It didn't stop them from evicting us out of our houses when we lost our jobs, right? But as we always do, we gonna bounce back. Because why? Say it loud. Say it loud. Say it loud. And nothing can stop your blackness. Nothing can stop your blackness. See, black people, they, the media want us to think that we thugs and we gangsters. But what we are is, we are resilient people. We don't die. We multiply. And if we can come from slavery, if we can come from slavery and be here today with a message of love and unity and power to let the devils know that our God is good, ain't nothing going to be able to stop us. No justice. No peace. No justice. No peace. No justice. No peace. No crooked ass. No peace. We will be hurt. 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 We will be hurt.
that they are facing every day. You need to look deep inside of yourself and realize what kind of a person you are. As a white person, do not talk over these people. You talk for these people and you stand by their side as a white person. It may not have been us, but it is our ancestors that have hurt these people. And we need to realize that it is white people that have always hurt these people. And the bottom line is, is that there is no such thing. Enough, enough is enough. Enough is enough. Black lives matter. 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 Say it loud. Say it loud. Say it loud. No justice. No justice. No peace. No crooked eyes. No peace. We know 
The number one reason, the number one reason, the number one threat to America is identity theft. They don't know us. They don't want us to know who the fuck we are. So until we find out who the fuck we are, they're going to keep us under their fucking toes. Because the white man does not want to give up that power. They do not want to give up that power at all. So we can front all they want to, but not make it in the fucking world is going to hand us anything. So we need to come together in peace. This is not a battle cry. We need to come together in peace and manipulate a plan that can manipulate the minds of all the nations. Because their game is media, it's propaganda. The government, Operation Hub, Operation Paperclip, Operation Mockingbird, they know how the grant works. It starts with these Nazi scientists. You got to do your research. They have this brainwashed. If you can control the media, you control the masses. Thank you, y'all. Y'all stay blessed. Um, yeah. Okay, so I go to Settler. How did you guys put this together? Uh, we made a flyer and we just started circulating it. Retweet, one second. Um, really, uh, that was really a lot of, uh, really, it's just whatever you can find on social media. He's actually great. He wants to know about how to do it. And make sure we disperse peacefully, guys. Let's make sure we make our community look good. Oh, okay.